Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and uh, I'm back from Asheville. And in the last week, I haven't done any real significant pouring except for making a big mess a few times. Um, I'm trying to create something for a collaboration Christmas pour, Christmas in July. that I'm trying to work out and I haven't figured out the details yet. Just kind of playing around with different things. Um, but what I did want to do beforehand, before I do a pour right now, is share with you some of the stuff I've resined over the last week because I was on a resining kick. And uh, even before that, I want to thank all the new subscribers. We're getting close. I'm at like 912, we're at 912. And I really would like to get to a thousand subscribers before I move to Asheville in about a month or so now keeps getting pushed back um, so yeah when you do uh, subscribe if you're new thank you for being here when you do subscribe hit the bell and hit all and that way you'll lock in your subscription and YouTube won't kick it off uh, but before that like I said or even after that now I want to share with you some of my resin creations this is that nebula pour and I hope you can see it is amazing. I'm so happy with that. And here's another one that I did. And these are 10 by 10s and these came out spectacular. First time I've resined on canvas. This was the very first one I resined. And this is that little bloom that I did a few weeks ago or a week ago, I don't know when it was. I do them and then I sit them on YouTube for a while and then post as I go. But that one came out gorgeous. It's eight by eight. And then this guy, I don't know if you remember this guy. I did him a while ago, a few months ago. It's on a hex tile. But I thought what I would do with him is I would uh, put cork on the back and have that be a trivet. And maybe it might even go in my new house because I really think this one's really neat. Anyway, and just so you know, I did start a page, Louise McKay Art, on GoDaddy, and I have some things posted up on there. If you are interested in purchasing anything, I'm going to start becoming a little more serious about selling things, and uh, if anybody's interested, go for it. So that's what I want to show you today. I am going to do something. So I'm going to show you what I did here. I tried making a blended base for another piece I was going to do and I wasn't happy with it. So I'm going to use it for today and I'm going to reblend the colors on here. And so I just wanted to show you really quick and I'm going to skip through this a little bit. I'm going to show you how I did half of this canvas to reblend it and make it look a lot more smooth than what I did the first time around. And one of the things I learned is to use the uh, water to kind of spritz it to keep the paint alive as I'm trying to blend. And you have to work quick. Quick is good because the longer you take, there I am spritzing, the longer you take, the more the paint is gonna set up and it's gonna leave brush marks. So going quickly and using the water is great. Just wanted to share that with you before I get into the actual splatter pour. All right, folks, I'm back. So I've got my sequence here, and uh, my thought process is I want the darker color to be farthest back or appear to be deeper within, which means that's gotta be my first color out. So it's gonna be like my last color in the cup. So let's start with pearl. And I might throw a little pearl in, in near the end as well, but we'll see. And I'm not gonna use a whole lot. I mean, you talk about a little bit here. That's the mid green. This is Artist Loft's brilliant green. This is metallic.
can't remember what this is. Bronze. And then this is Artist Loft's Deep Green with Liquitex's Black mixed in. Maybe I'll just put a little, a little drizzle of pearl on top. Okay. All right, folks, this is where the rubber meets the road. I'm armed and dangerous. Here's my weapon. I'm going to pinch the tip so it comes out at a fine angle. And we'll... Oh, I need to put something up in the back. Hold on a second, folks. interesting. I don't know if I have enough paint to fling here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna go like that. All right, let's add some more paint. I think my paint's too thick. Okay. More paint again. Okay, that's all my pearl. Just I can do with that. Yeah, I think my paints are too thick. But
I flung a whole bunch up against the wall here. It's actually really good paint. All right, everybody. So I'm going to pick up the pace here because as we go forward, all I'm worrying about now is trying to develop some composition out of this because the way it looks to me right now is kind of like a mess and I'm just trying to bring in some structure and some continuity. And I apologize for the adjuster for the camera tripod being in the way now. When I reach for that paint, hit the wall and everything kind of moved. So sorry about that, but you can still see most of it as I go along. Yeah, so I've confirmed to myself here, trying to use that palette knife to move the paint around. It just does not want to move. And as thin as I made it, it's still not thin enough. So lesson for next time, make sure your paints are very thin. And the other consideration is that I am working on a dry base, so the paint's not gonna flow as easily. That little splotch here, I end up enhancing in the end and you'll see it in the final photo right after I blew on it, I thought oh that was a mistake I'm just about to finish and show you where I've left off and then I shut the camera off afterward, but then I couldn't leave it alone. I've had to pick it up and continue to work on the composition with my intention to connect some of those swipey lines from one end of the canvas to the other. And you'll see it in the final photo that I'll reveal in a second. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're new here, and haven't subscribed yet please hit the bell and hit all and if you've been around here thank you for coming back and staying to the end with me and uh, I'll probably be trying this one again but with much thinner paints all right now take care everybody